What's up guys, the Green Poison Jailbreak was just released, so I thought I'd do a quick little video guide on it. Uh, so basically this is exactly like the Lime Rain Jailbreak that I did a video on yesterday. Uh, they use the same exploit and everything and it only works with the same devices, so it's not really a great improvement. But I thought I'd do a quick little video on it. Uh, so this jailbreak is going to jailbreak the 4.1 firmware. I'm pretty sure that is all it works with aside from the iPad. Um, it's going to work with the iPhone 4 the iPod Touch 4, it's one of the video camera, the iPad, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work on the iPad 3.2.2, uh, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPod Touch 3G. Now, they will be adding support for the iPod Touch 2nd generation and uh, Apple TV 2nd uh, generation also, but that will be coming later. At the moment, this is only for Windows. Mac users, you guys are going to have to wait for the Green Poison and Lime Rain jailbreaks. Uh, but be very patient. I'll have video guides on, out on them as soon as they are released. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. But I wanted to make a quick note before we uh, go on with this. A lot of people had problems with this in the last video. If you want to know if you have a second generation iPod Touch or a third generation iPod Touch, they look exactly the same. The only way you can tell them apart, uh, the logo uh, for the gigabyte size is actually a little bit bigger than on the uh, eight on the 3G. So if you have if you have the bigger gigabyte logo, uh, you're going to have the second generation iPod Touch. Also, I know you can't see it with my camera, but this little text down here, if at the bottom it says TM and a little C in a circle. Uh, trademark and copyright 2008 Apple Inc. Uh, that means you have a second generation and this video is currently not going to work for you. Uh, so stay tuned for the new video on how to jailbreak the second generation. Do not try it on your second generation. And you iPod Touch second generation and iPhone 3G users that are on 4.1 and not jailbroken or want to upgrade to 4.1, be very patient. A jailbreak will be out soon for all devices and I will do a video on it as soon as it's released. So go ahead and make sure you hit the subscribe button right up there so you know when that video is released and you can go ahead and do that as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and get on with the jailbreak. Uh, first off, you're going to need to download Green Poison. I'll have a link in the description of the video uh, right below uh, so you can download Green Poison. And go ahead and save that to your desktop. And uh, basically, you're just going to need to open up greenpoison.exe. Go ahead and open it up. Now, this program is basically exactly like uh, Lime Rain, so I'm, I'm kind of confused as to why they released it because it doesn't really do much different. But it does seem actually a little bit stabler uh, than Lime Rain. So, Basically what you're going to do first is you're going to need to turn your device off. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, and then you're going to go on with the jailbreak. So there we go. Uh, basically what we're going to do is hold the power button in for about 2-3 to three seconds. Uh, then we're going to switch to holding both buttons. You never release the power button. Holding both buttons for about 10 seconds. And then you're going to release the power button and keep holding the home button. So it goes power, both, home. That's how it works. So let's go ahead and press prepare to jailbreak. So here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm pressing the power button now for two seconds, and then I'm pressing both buttons for ten seconds, and it's going to count down there for you, so it makes it pretty easy. If you mess up, you can hit the little reset button. Two, one, and there we go. Just release the power and keep holding the home button. And then basically, it's going to put your device into DFU mode. So if this works, you should have a black screen when it's done. It should look like your device is turned off. So there we go, I'm ready. Basically now what you're going to do is just hit this little jailbreak button right here. So it's ready to jailbreak. Hit jailbreak and uh, just be really patient and it shouldn't take long. It's pretty simple and that is about it. Now when this little button that says quit comes up, do not click it just in case. Uh, let this finish up what it's doing. It's basically how to install everything on your iPod. So there you go, my device is now jailbroken. Let's slide to unlock. And there we go, we got City. I actually pre jailbroke this before. Uh, with Lime Ring, but I can assure you that this did work. Uh, so that's basically the guide. If you have any problems, uh, leave some comments below, and I'm sure some people will be able to help you out. I will also try to be responding to as many comments as I can. Also, before you do leave a comment, make sure you read the description, because in these jailbreak videos, I always put notes in the description that is definitely going to help you out a lot if you'll just read over those really quickly. Those are basically just updates that I didn't mention in the video or something that happened after the jailbreak was released and I did this video on it. Uh, so you're going to want to read over all that stuff. That would definitely help you out. So that's about it. Enjoy your jailbreak. Uh, if you like this video, if it helped you out, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right up there. That way you will know when I post new videos and uh, when these all, all these new jailbreaks will be released for the new firmwares, uh, for Mac, for the new devices, for the devices not covered yet. Uh, you guys are definitely going to want to do that. Also, I do tons of reviews and how-to guides on the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, and uh, more. 
So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.